Good afternoon, everybody. This is the Balloon Bandit Amusement with the Twist Orlando. Uh, today I'm going to make a balloon decoration. It's a balloon fish. Um, if you're making these for parties and stuff, um, you will already have this blown up because you'll probably want it with helium. Um, but I'm making this from scratch and I don't have any helium on me. But I'm going to give you the gist of how it goes, how to make them quick and easily. Um, so we're just going to blow this up. And remember, your balloon's already going to be blown up if you're um, doing it with a helium balloon. Uh, this is a, uh, um, I think it's a 9-inch uh, round balloon or 12-inch. I'm not quite sure. We'll find out as we get closer to getting this thing blown up. It's just a standard everyday party balloon. Um, okay, your balloon will be blown up. As you can see, it's about the size of my head. Okay, and it's already blown up, so um, and, and it's floating. That's going to be your hardest part when doing this design if you already have helium in the balloon because it'll keep trying to float away while you're trying to do this. Okay. Um, whether you're using ribbon, whether you're using fishing line, as you can see, I use a, a string version. Um, I think it's like a, this says 80 pounds. Uh, so um, basically, you're going to have your string on your balloon already. Give me just a second to get caught up. And remember, uh, sometimes when you buy them like at Party City or something, you'll have a nice long string on the front. Uh, you'll actually want to clip that down for this design um, because how these pieces go together. Uh, so we're just going to make it a little shorter. And again, okay, you don't really need a lot of uh, um, string on the tie itself. So. Now we have a regular party balloon that's floating in the air, okay? Now we're going to want to be able to hold this balloon down while we're doing this design. So the easiest way usually is to put it between your knees. Um, we're going to use uh, two, um, 260. Um, I've chosen to go with the, um, um, fair enough, this is... Um, can't even remember what it is now. Give me just a second. Um, let's see. Purple violet is the balloon itself, and this is the lilac. Chose, chosen to go with lilac uh, for my 260s around my fish. Um, the design was um, purple, uh, pink, and um, they chose one other color for. A party that's coming up and I thought I would just create it uh, just for fun okay so with that said I have my two purple okay the design itself you can make the, any type of tail you want um, but the, in the design that they've chosen um, the back fins are approximately um, an open hand uh, um, bubble, like so. What I don't like about this is I need to add uh, ear twists in order to keep these in the outward motion. So, we're going to add an ear twist on one side. Then we're going to take the other balloon and create an ear twist. Uh, reason we're using uh, ear twists on either up, oh, we got a bad balloon that sucks. So I'm gonna have to start all over again. Maybe not. We'll just continue on. One of my ear twists died on, so I'll make another ear twist. And by the time I finish my design, it should be decided. Okay. With that said. This is now our tail. Okay. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, make a spot on one of them 
in order for your string to go down because what's going to happen is you want to turn this balloon on its side and there's nowhere to tie on the balloon itself so what you're going to do is you're going to end up putting your balloon somewhat caddy on the thing and decide how far down to center of your balloon is depending on the size of the balloon because your 9 inch and your 12 inch make a big difference on how big it is so I'm going to go about let's say an open hands length and I'm going to do a double ear twist here this is going to be the bottom of my fish okay now the next part of this is now that we've got our decided how far our size is we're going to have to try and hold our balloon in place as we manipulate our balloons around our our our, our um our helium filled balloon so the object is to lay it in there just right and pull it as tightly as possible to the nozzle to the nozzle of the balloon so now I'm going to push it between my legs in order to get up high enough to get my twist twist it around just like so as you can see I have my bottom of my fishy my tail of my fishy and my top part of my fishy okay now that I got that I'm going to tie that nozzle right into the balloon that way now our, our face of our fishy is in place and you can adjust him to the size if he's not quite center but the basics of the fish is in place already okay um, now you're just going to do a simple double ear twist on the front um, you might want them to be a little big little small that's up to you um, because these are going to be now his lips um, so however big you want them if you want them to have big big chunky lips or a, have a jaw um, I would use a uh, pedal twist so it's really up to you how how big you want your fishy lips to be okay and we're just gonna break off the extra balloon um, and then pulling it out and, and snapping it back in there um, actually is one of the better ways of going about getting rid of all the extra balloons so people can't see it is you pull it out and you snap it what happens is it pulls it in as tight as possible to your design okay now that we've got our balloon in it should be doing something like that since it has helium and it should be floating upright we don't want it to float in an upright position we want it to float to the side so that's why we have our string and then you would just take your string and, and you would run it along the side of your balloon and through the ear twist and once around should be more than sufficient. Now your balloon looks something like this. And that's what it's supposed to do is it's just supposed to be a nice, simple, easy uh, design. Okay, now the next part of our fish in order to finish it off would be a uh, um, five inch round whatever color you want for the eyes I always use white for the eyes 90% of the time okay um, you don't want to over inflate your white because you're gonna split it in two okay and so you figure out how big you want your eyes to be and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands one on either side of the nozzle right there in the center and you're just going to rotate it over. Oh, this one says not going to happen. Ah. Okay, with that said, we've got it rolled over. As you can see, I have the nozzle in my hand. Um, I'm just going to tie that nozzle right here to the nose of my fish. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to put one balloon on one side of it. The 260 on the top side unless you're doing like a flounder which is going to be kind of harder to do with a with a balloon fish um, okay
then you should have something that looks kind of like that. And, and like I said, depending on how big your eyes are, depends on uh, um, a lot of factors on this. So if your if your uh, um, balloon is like really tight here, a um, little less air would help in order to get this part to come in more because then they could stretch out further um, so you wouldn't have that major gap right there. But this was just the, um, going through the basics of how it's done. Okay. So now we have a floating dish. Okay. If you want, you can honestly add um, side fins and everything else just by doing the same design. Uh, starting with the mouth, come out, add the um, add the fin to the back. If you wanted to add one on the top, you would do like the bottom where it has the double ear twist. You would start like double ear twist here. Double ear twist here, and you could have a sharp fin on the top if you really wanted. Um, but it's a really simple design, and like I said, this would be a helium field party balloon, and he would just float around the room. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the fish tutorial on how to do party decorations. Um, again, this is the Balloon Bandit Amusement with the Twist Orlando, and enjoy. Have a great day.